Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas here with iPhone Hacks, and I'm going to be showing you some of the best tips and tricks for using 3D Touch on your iPhone 6S. So the first thing we're going to cover is quick actions. And what that basically does is it allows you to jump into apps using shortcuts. So if I press and hold with a 3D Touch, you'll see that I have the options here for the clock, and I can just jump in, start a timer right there, quickly like that. Same goes for messages and phones. Here are the last people I talk to, I can go ahead and write them a quick message, phone, and so those are the quick actions that actually helps improve the speed and it's just a cool little feature um, for your home screen and inside of other apps so you guys definitely should check that out. The next thing we're going to cover are opening links. So here I have a link inside of the notes app, you can see right here, iphonehacks.com. If I, again, this is using 3D touch, press and hold, I can peek inside of that link. Our Wi-Fi is pretty slow, but you can see here, and if I'm like, oh, that's a relevant link, I can go ahead and press in, and it'll jump right into that, which is pretty awesome. And then, of course, I can just go back to apps and do that for multiple links. So that's kind of the peek and pop with links. It's very useful if you have multiple links and you don't know which one is which. You can go ahead and preview it here. If you're like, oh, that's not the one, just let go, and you'll be right back out. Another great 3D touch feature is the peek and pop. So here I'm inside of my inbox. I can peek inside by pressing in a little bit firmly. I can peek at that message. If I want to actually read it completely, I can press in some more and it'll jump right into that email. Let's show you guys that again. So these are all fantasy football. I'm in first place, by the way. But um, press in. You're peeking. If you pull up, you can access quick actions. Um, you can also pull to the right, mark it as unread, pull to the left, you can trash it. So they're super helpful. It's really cool to use inside of your mail app. It makes going through multiple emails uh, pretty fast. So that is peak and pop. Next up is viewing live photos. So another super popular feature for this new iPhone is live photos. And if I'm inside of my photos app, I can choose a live photo. You'll notice that the image moves very slightly and that's how you know it's a live photo. Here's one right here. All you have to do to view a live photo is press in and it will animate. So that's how you view live photos inside of the photo app on your iPhone 6S. Next up is using 3D Touch with the app switcher. So previously we'd have to double tap on the home button to bring up the app switcher. Now we can actually press in on the left part of the screen and it'll bring up the app switcher. And this is just a little peek preview of the previous app. If I want to jump into the full-fledged switcher, I can just press in. So I would do the same thing, press in, and it'll bring it up. Another cool thing that not a lot of people know about is you can actually switch between and go back and forth between apps. So again, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to slide all the way across and I'll bring up my previous app. Again, slide all the way across, I'm back in settings. So that's a really cool feature for switching back and forth and it takes advantage of the 3D touch, which I think is a pretty cool touch. No pun intended. So make sure to check that out. We live in the day and age of selfies, so Apple thought it would be smart to add a quick action for the selfie camera. So here I am on the home screen, I can just press in on the camera icon and here you see take a selfie. I can tap on that and it'll automatically um, take the front camera and I can take my selfie. So that's a cool little feature. Another cool feature is previewing URLs or videos inside of messages. So right now I'm inside of a message and my friend has um, linked an article. If I feel like I have time to read it, I can go ahead and press in using 3D Touch, hold, and then I can peek at the article that he linked to. And if I find it interesting on my peak, I can go ahead and press in. So here it is, giant ad, but it's about college football and UCLA. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll press in, it'll launch me into Safari, and I can go ahead and read that article. So that's a cool thing if you want to just peek and pop in between uh, links or videos in the Messages app. On living in LA, there's definitely a, a big use of the map. So there are quick navigations, 
a quick actions for the map app. So here's the map app. This is the Apple Maps app. I can press in right there. It'll have directions home, which is super convenient. Instead of opening the app, putting in your address, you can just use that quick action. You can also mark your location to find your car and send your location for people that are trying to visit you. So those are the quick actions, which is really cool. I want to go ahead, jump in right there, search nearby, um, which is a, another cool feature which we've talked about before. Um, and those are the quick actions for the Maps app using 3D Touch to access that window. There are also quick actions in the Messages app. So here you can just pick a message that you want to preview. We can go ahead and use the 3D Touch to jump in and preview that. And if you pull up, there are actually the uh, quick responses that you've created and that Apple has default. So you see where it says custom, those are the responses that you can add yourself. So that is a, a cool way to quickly respond to somebody without having to tap a whole bunch of different buttons. And then if you're done, you can just hop right out. One of the more popular features is reading an email without actually reading it or opening it. So here you see I have an unread email. I can press in. It's still marked as unread. I can preview what it's about. Ticketmaster selling me something. Not interested. I pop out. You see that it's still unread. That's a very useful feature for work and for the regular person who just doesn't feel like responding to every email and wants to know what it's about. If you are inside of an email, you can actually use quick actions to respond. So here you see that little icon for the mailer. If I press with 3D Touch onto that mailer, it'll bring up again another quick menu where I can mail them, add them to an existing content, or create a new contact. Um, these all, all these 3D Touch tips and tricks just make things a little bit faster and add another layer um, to most of the common apps, which are all pretty useful. In the camera, <clears throat> the next tip we're going to be showing you is previewing photos um, in your photos. So here we are. These are some screenshots that I've taken. If I want to preview it because the thumbnail is too small, I'll go ahead and press in. There's a full preview. If I pull up, I can copy that, share it, or favorite it. So this will definitely be useful for people who have tons of photos but can't really see what's going on. Again, you press in. There's the preview. Choose your action or just let go to jump back into your photos. Another cool feature is actually previewing recent photos without leaving the camera screen. So here I am on the camera screen. If I want to preview recently taken photos or added photos, I can press in on the preview and slide right over. That's super cool. And if I am done looking, I let go and I'm right back into the camera app. I don't need to jump into photos and then jump back into the camera app to see which photo I just took. So that is definitely a helpful feature. 3D Touch allows you to activate live wallpapers. So here I have a live wallpaper on my lock screen. Let me try that again without. And I'll press in on it using 3D Touch and it'll animate. If I let go, it'll reverse animate, which is cool. Again, just press in and if I slowly, I can the amount of pressure I put on will animate the image. And if I let go, it'll reverse and then go back to a still image. So that's activating a lock screen live wallpaper. 3D Touch also makes it a lot easier to save images um, on the web. So here's an image that I might want to save. If I press in, it'll pop up that image. I'll pull up and it'll say save image or copy image. And that makes it way quicker to save cool images that you might want to have um, on your phone. Another cool thing in Safari is if I have my tabs, I can actually press in on a tab. I pressed in a little too hard. I can press in on a tab to preview it and let go. So if I don't know what a tab is, I can again press in. You have to press in pretty lightly. Press in a little bit more. Here's the preview screen. Obviously, you can see here that you have those options. If I do want to go to that page, I'll press in and it'll hop right in. In the Notes app, you can actually add pressure sensitive sketches using 3D Touch. 
So if I tap on this, I'll bring up the sketch pane. And let's just select the marker. Here's a regular line. I'm just writing that. Now if I press in using 3D Touch, you'll see that the line is darker. Let's try that with a different item. So here's a regular line. I'm pressing in with Force Touch, and you can see that it's darker. This is um, obviously really useful for people who actually are good at drawing things on this, or I am not. But as they showed, if you watch the Apple event, you can make some pretty, pretty awesome things if you use the 3D Touch correctly um, in the Sketch app in Notes. So that's definitely something that people can mess around with and hopefully share some cool stuff with us. Another cool tip we have for you is enabling the hidden peak zoom feature. So here we are in settings, general accessibility. Here you'll see the option for zoom. We're gonna just jump in that and we're gonna enable that right here and enable show controller. Now, supposedly if you tap on, tap on the screen with three fingers twice, um, the zoom will go away. I've had really little luck doing that, so I've just enabled the shortcut which is the triple click to enable and disable zoom. So here we see on the home screen, I'll triple click again. Just kidding, I'll actually triple click this time. And I'll bring in the zoom, and here's the little controller that I have enabled. And if you did want to zoom in on parts of your screen, this also works in websites as well. So let me show you that instead of just talking about it. I can go ahead and zoom in on the fine print on those car insurance websites. It's a cool feature. Um, I probably wouldn't use it that much, but I'm sure there are plenty of people that would. So definitely that's one that to, to keep in mind. Another cool tip for people who type a lot on the iPhone is accessing the trackpad. So here I can write some text like I normally would. And if I want to correct something, previously you have to do use the terrifying and terrible magnifier to try and select the right amount of text but with 3D touch I can actually press in on the trackpad or the keys to enable the trackpad or it makes it way easier to select text and go through if I want to change the H much faster than trying to use the magnifier again I'll press in if I want to select the text I press in a little bit deeper and that will select the text and I can delete that whole word so using the trackpad is definitely the best way to get around your text and make edits. Another tip with 3D Touch is if you don't feel like using the trackpad, you can highlight text pretty easily by again pressing in. It's much faster than double tapping or accidentally doing it. If you press in firmly, it'll highlight that word and then you can begin using the uh, menu. If the sensitivity isn't just perfect for you, you can change that by going into accessibility, finding 3D touch, moving along with the slider, and then you can test the sensitivity right here in the test frame. So that's a pretty convenient, you don't have to jump out and try to test it on the home screen, you can test it within the settings menu. And of course if you didn't have 3D touch enabled, you would enable it by tapping on that. It is enabled by default, so the only way you would find that out is if you were trying to turn it off. And of course, to turn it off, you would go into Settings, General, Accessibility, Find 3D Touch, and slide this off. And 3D Touch would no longer work for you. So that's it, guys. Those are the top tips for using 3D Touch on your iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys.